Alright guys, so today I'm just going to take you on a little tour of one of our uh, freshly renovated mechanical rooms. And this is a uh, water source heat pump system, so the water loop serves all the classroom heat pumps and the rooftop uh, energy recovery units. Uh, so we've got our supplies and returns to the building right here. And, um, so first the loop goes out there to the closed circuit cooling towers. I'll take you out to those in a second. Comes back inside. We've got our boiler bypass valve right here. 120 volt Bulimo diverting valve. Um, we got our three Fulton Endura boilers. They are fully variable speed, variable capacity, condensing gas boilers. Uh, this one's actually on right now because it's cold outside, so it's running at its uh, lowest modulation. So we got three of these guys. Um, they'll all run in parallel modulation, so they'll all run as low as the uh, capacity as possible to provide maximum uh, energy savings. And across from them, we got our main circulating pumps for the whole building. Uh, I think the motors are like either 100 or 125 horsepower a piece, uh, 480 volt. This one's running right now, 82.2%. So they switch off lead lag uh, every week or something like that to provide even run time. And that sends the water back out to the loop. And uh, I'll take it to one of the uh, heat pump closets in a second. Um, and these are our controls for the system. So this is a Delta uh, EBMGR system. So the master controller is in here along with the application control or system controller for the uh, heat pump water system. And this right here is your Synex uh, mod sync controller. So the um, energy management system will send a signal over to this guy that heat is needed in the loop. And this um, basically manages the boilers on its own. So you can see our loop set point is 65. It's currently 66.8 and the only one that's running is boiler number three at 0% or minimum capacity. Here's the back side, so uh, stainless steel flue with the outside, direct vented. Um, and over here we got our domestic water heaters, they're also condensing gas water heaters. Uh, 900 gallon uh, hot water buffer tank, all the recirculating pumps for the uh, domestic water. And then over here we got the um, all the uh, water treatment for the uh, cooling towers. So yeah, um, this was a cool project. Um, the building was very outdated before. Um, definitely needed to be renovated. Um, I'll post some older videos of what used to be in here. Um, all the controls were pneumatic and everything, so it's nice to be on DDC now. But um, yeah, they did a real nice job. It was painted recently, new lighting, basically new everything, but it looks real nice now. Everything's neat and labeled and organized. Uh, so the building's basically in um, punch list phase now, so they're just kind of using this room as an extra storage room at the moment. Uh, the contractors are. So once they're done with all that, all this uh, extra junk will be out of here. But for now, that's where we are. The whole system's been up and running for a couple months now. Um, all the other interior work is basically done. So yeah, um, I'll go ahead and uh, show you the closed circuit cooling towers and some of the uh, classroom heat pumps now.
All right, so these are the closed circuit towers for the uh, water loop. They're off right now because it's about 35 degrees outside um, in early March, so they're off. But each one of them's got a control panel. Uh, everything's enabled, disabled by the energy management system. But uh, they'll be running these pretty soon with spring upcoming. So yeah, that's what these look like. Two of them for the loop. Alright guys, so this is what a typical one of the heat pump closets look like. Each one will have one or two of these water source heat pumps. And uh, this will typically serve um, one classroom per unit. Um, so these are train, uh, high efficiency, vertical water source heat pumps. They have scroll compressors. Uh, isolation valve on the water supply. And um, these are water hoses going in and out of the unit. Uh, condensate. Return supply, discharge air temperature. Um, these are the controls for each unit. And um, return air from above the ceiling. Electrical disconnect. Um, so the advantage, the nice thing about the uh, heat pump system is that the unit can be in either heating or cooling depending on what the room requires and um, it can either take energy in or extract energy out of the loop, the water loop depending on what the temperature of the loop is so you get that um, extra efficiency out of it you basically transfer heat from one area of the building to the other yeah that's just this is what one of the heat pump closets look like.